Hey Gundam fans, this is my collection, Stunts 456. It's a little, little piece of my collection. Today I wanted to just kind of show you my collection. It's going to be hopefully edited. And then we're going to look at the Okawara's illustrated version, special edition, MS-07B goof, or gauf, however you want to say it. Just kind of depends what you like. For instance, this one is was bought used. I'd love to get it new, but unfortunately it's a little expensive unless you've got the money. It's pretty awesome as far as detail work. Just check out the uh, back part is awesome. I think that's what's missing in the American release is the artwork. I mean, you've got a great gal in the background and the goof gives you a little technical detail here and specifications. Like, pretty awesome. What's pretty cool is that Okawara is the actual guy who actually did a lot of the mecha for the original Japanese version. Try to get you a better angle to see. Kinda hard with the glare. But you see how blue and detailed he is. And he doesn't want to come out. So it's a pretty awesome goof. The detail for Japanese is amazing. I think the one thing that if they could do better would be to provide like Xeon and insignias. But as far as the detailed paint and custom lines and it's just a very unique figure. Very hard to come by, so if you see one, you should get it. Very rare. I don't think I could get a squad of these even if I wanted to. What's unique about this one is that it's color coded, so it's actually got the shield. And it comes with a spare hand for the heat rod and, and his sword. So it's very nice, kind of similar to your regular goof. I'll do a comparison right now. I can get one right here. Whoa, I didn't even know that was like magnetic. That's freaking awesome. So, here is your American release standard goof 4.5 inch. Again, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. You do have the Xeon insignia right there. Similar sword, if not identical. So basically the shield and the color coding is different. So definitely comparing the two. I'd have to say that the Alcawara version is better in the detail. And if you could just get like little tiny Xeon stickers to put on it, it'd be pretty much perfect. Um, these 4.5s unfortunately don't move anywhere near the uh, robot Demanche line or the fixation lines. They just don't have the movement. Be pretty awesome if they ever brought it back. 
without like the cheap just to see it. just the foot does not bend that much doesn't bend that much back so the regular knee joint you can try to pose them they're not really great however these don't break easily I mean uh, they were built for play you can get them used on eBay basically is the only place um, I wouldn't really trust anywhere else to get them Bandai won't sell them. I think Bandai's it's the line's already finished, so pretty much stuck with eBay if you ever want to own one of these. Or um if you want and if you haven't started collecting these, you can collect fixations, which are smaller. Um they do break easily. Or you can do the robot Damashi line. Those are expensive. The cheapest I've seen any is at like thirty to thirty five and that's not including shipping. So, unless you got some money to go to Japan and buy some stuff, you're pretty much stuck with the MSIAs. And so, this is technically a definition of an MSIA. It's a mobile suit in action. This one would be basically the US version of an MSIA, but we call it basically an action figure 4.5 inches. And again, just comparing both of them, which one would you like? Or which one do you like? American or Japanese and it just depends what you want how much you want your collection to go um, you can get goofs fairly decent from used to new here in the US on eBay but the Okawara version is going to be very hard to find new and in good condition if it's used so it just depends how much money you're wanting to spend obviously with the American release it comes with a dodai which is pretty awesome and it's shield and sword and it's heat rod so it's pretty cool it's the deluxe figure and um, the dodai is just awesome I don't know if you ever watched the original series but uh, look how many missiles this has like how would the Gundam not be destroyed or white base not be destroyed by like an army of those it's awesome just simply amazing I wish um, Okawara had made more to my knowledge, he's only made for the MSI line, uh, the MS07B Goof. He's made uh, Shars Zigok. He's also made a new type Gundam and Zaku 2 new type, which is pretty awesome. And I'll, I'll show you a picture and bring up a video later on. Um, hate saying, um, I'm trying to think of anything else to say. That would be worthwhile. I mean, they all, he also came out with the, a, his version of a Dom. It's basically the pinker version, which is very realistic to what he created in the original Gundam 0079 century, Universal Century. So that's pretty much it. Um, hope this gave you an idea into some differentiation between Japanese and American. Or, I mean, they're all made in China, so. Really, it's all Chinese, but sold in different markets. So, go figure. Uh, and have a great day. Enjoy your Gundams, and if you haven't started your collection, truly think before you go. Uh, my collection, by no means, was cheap in acquiring at all. And, again, this is just one little, not even half of my collection. And we've actually, these are actually model kits that I, I bought from Japan shipped to me from Japan. Some action figures. Some more action figures that are new, untouched. Some The one inch battleship line that they had. More model kits that are not made. Model kits that were made. The Gundam collection. We got the gun parries, two of them actually, because there's one behind that. And the mobile armor elmet, which is incredibly hard to find. We've also got the white Zaku MS06R-1 S Matsunaga's customized Zaku 2 edition, which is awesome. The details, a unicorn right there. Very hard to come by. Japanese Dom Zaku 2. 
Sharzaku, and these again are all Japanese. We have the limited edition extended MSI. These ones are pretty hard to find. Magella Attack Tank and Model Magella Attack Tank. This one's pretty awesome just because I painted it silver and instead of gray. So you can do different stuff with models, just depends how much time. There's two 0779s new with their... Oh gosh, I forgot the name. Attack tanks, I just can't remember it right now. Real type gun tank, very rare. Zaku 1, black tri stars, which is amazing. I have another rare one, Garmazabi's 2, with his. His. Um, oh gosh, I'm trying to forget these names now. <laughs> I'm going to have to remember later on. But it's his ship, basically, the one he's with the Gao. We got a little Gao there too. And then a pretty nice one is Giant Raiden's. Galgoog extended MSIA. So again, some rare ones. And again, it just depends what you want to get. Like you can see differences of the Japanese version core fighter and the American release core fighter. Or the core booster, core fighter. So many names. So many chikandan. It's hard to be always correct. So again, it's a little glimpse and I'll go into more details about the other collections and stuff. So have a nice day. Enjoy Gundam.